right, welcome back to my last play of the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Where we left off, we picked up a chicken. It was great. We picked up a chicken, and then I ranted about how, you know, we could pick up a chicken, but we can't pet a cat. Anywho, I think I was looking over here, and then we got a knock on the door. So let's continue our stare down of the house. I've no desire to lug a block of wood about the countryside. Mr. Shoulder has stacked blocks of wood neatly beneath this small lean-to. Very neat and tidy. Very neat and tidy indeed. Let's look at the pants. A pair of thick woolen trousers. The trousers feel damp. Freshly hung or still wet from last night's rain. Okay, let's look at the glove. That glove looks familiar. I wonder if it matches the glove I found behind the plow and furrow. Right, we have a glove. Oh, oh, snap, Avicii, it is. The gloves are a pair. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was in the alley last night? Why didn't he come inside to see me? The gasp. All the look gasps. Can we take it? Mr. Shoulder must have dropped the matching glove. What was he doing in the alley? Wrong button. It was rather rude of him not to come inside and see me. Mr. Shoulder must have dropped the ma What was he doing in the alley? Rather rude of him not to come inside and see me. Okay, so clearly we, can we can't take the glove. Can we take the garment? A woolen undergarment. Slightly damp. I have a similar one myself. So very warm. G good to know. Okay. Uh, window, door. Uh, let's look at the top window first. This must provide a charming view across the moor. The window is much too high up to reach. No sign of life. None. The window is nice and clean. The dwelling is by no means abandoned. Okay, uh, he may not be home. No sign of any movement. Although that chicken moved. That chicken, or hen, I should say, the hen moved. Uh, let's look at the door. Oh, and the carved stone. Let's take a look at that first. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. Father, what do you make of this? A peculiar adornment. I've not seen any like this in Bewley. Though it does remind me of a passage by the Bard himself. <clears throat> it is the very error of the moon. She comes nearer Earth than she was wont, and makes men mad. Oh! Oh! Oh, hi! Oh! Ah! Uh, ooh! Ah! <laughs> uh, hello? Romeo? I don't. I don't. I, yeah. Let's go, Romeo and Jude. Nah, Othello. Othello? Precisely, Miss Bateman. Hey! One out of two, Miss Bateman. I did it. <laughs> I got one right. Yay. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can take this. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it dip It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. Okay, so we can't take it. Let's, I guess, start knocking on the door and then we'll talk to Father Roach. Mr. Shoulder? Is Thomasina Bateman here? I'm here in Bewley as discussed. Maybe try again. His hearing probably isn't the best at his age. I'm rather fond of this color. Perhaps. Mr. Shoulder, are you home? It appears Mr. Shoulder is not at home. Perhaps you could try the handle. It's locked. Perhaps he's gone for a stroll. Possibly. I'd suggest you call back later, my child. I myself must make my way back home. I have some matters to attend to at the church. Shall I accompany you back to Bewley? No, you go on ahead, Father. Thank you. I like to look around further. Let's go. I'm ready to leave. I kind of want to do the top one. 
I wouldn't mind talking to him, but I feel like if I talk to him, he's gonna bring up this. But let's stick around. No, you go ahead, Father. Thank you. As you wish. Farewell, Miss Bateman. I hope Mr. Shoulder finds his way to you. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. My pleasure. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, uh, Romeo and Juliet? Oh, I've heard that one. Yeah, it's Romeo and Juliet. I think, yeah. I'm gonna go with it. Let's go. Romeo and Juliet. Correct. That I shall say good night till it be morrow. Lord be with you. Well, Mr. Shoulder, you've brought me to Bewley, and now you're nowhere to be found. Yay, I got another one right. Huzzah, okay. Um, so I don't think there's anything I can look at. I mean, I thought there was... I could talk to the priest. Uh, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just, I guess, try the door again? Is, is that bird following me? Can I pick up the hen? Let's pick up the hen again. You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? Now let's take it with us. Also, the hens are pretty tame. I wouldn't be surprised you could pick up the rooster. He looks much too unruly to be picked up. I mean, you may get pecked at, but, you know, yeah. A fearsome looking beast. Let's try the door again, and then we'll leave. I've come a long way to meet you, Mr. Shoulder. Please open the door. I'm rather fond of this color, oh. perhaps. Okay, never mind. Let's try again. Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself elusive. Okay, so no. I guess we can head back to town then. Uh, cause I don't know what else to do. So, let's just exit. Let's, let's, let's go back. As I trudged back to Bewley across those cold moors, I made a new resolution. I would find Hobbs Barrow myself, with or without Mr. Shoulder. The train! That must be Kenneth. I should go and meet him at the station. Okay, we gotta head to the train station. I'm just gonna sit. Granted, nothing happens. We already got the achievement for this, so let's just, I guess, head to the train right away. Um... I will buy a cake from her one of these days. Where is Kenneth? He was supposed to wait for me at the station. Interesting. Let's talk to uh, Arthur Tillett. Thank, thank you, game, for letting me know what his name is again. And see if he spotted him. There we go, from the top. I'm looking for my assistant, Kenneth. Oh, I. His train has arrived. Not a single soul disembarked the last train, Miss Bateman. Impossible. Was that not the midday train from London by way of Derby? Aye, it were. Mr. Price were here, unloaded a few crates. But no Kenneth. Not a soul. Hold on. One of them crates had your name on it, Miss Bateman. A great big one it were, with... A red ribbon. Aye. What is Kenneth playing at, sending my equipment, but not himself? Curses. Interesting. Some evil cult shenanigans are amok, like, happening amok. Words. Where is my crate now? Mr. Price took away all the crates on his cart. Who? Mr. Price. He's the postmaster. Where can I find Mr. Price? He lives above the storeroom, just north of the plow and furrow. You'll see it. 
There's a Royal Mail plaque on the wall. Thank you. Where can I find Mr. Price? He lives above the school seat. Thank you. Okay, it's the same dialogue there. Oh my goodness, again. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about the rest of the points before we get out of here. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Oh, you've heard of his lordship then? Yes. Do you know him? Aye. He comes into the village from time to time, gives sweets to the children, hires young men to work his land. He's well liked around here. I sense some hesitation, Mr. Tillett. Well, we kind of have an unspoken agreement with his lordship. He looks after us, provided we leave him alone. I don't follow. He likes his privacy. Some people do. No one is allowed to visit him. Do you mean to say that he's a bit eccentric? No. I've heard people got fired at when approaching his manor uninvited. Good grief. But is this true? Well, I won't be the one to find out. Okay, Hobbs Barrow. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. Hobbs Barrow. It's why Leonard Shoulder invited me to Bewley. He thought I might like to excavate it. Oh, I. I heard about a Hobbs Barrow somewhere out there. There's some old stories around it. What stories? I can't remember. Mr. Tillett, please. This is important. I'm awfully sorry, Miss Bateman. I'll try to remember. If he invited you here, then I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you all about it. That's if I ever get to meet him. I'm sure you will. Okay. Farewell for now. Tara. So I guess we're heading back into town to talk to the postmaster, so let's do the waddle. Waddle waddle. <laughs> oh! Well, hello, cranky old man. Let's talk to the cranky old man. Cy Cyril? Cyril? I'm Cyril is no doubt keeping watch on any potential new arrivals from the railway station. I'm gonna have problems pronouncing their names. It's been a while since I played this game, so I'm gonna butcher some names. Good day to you, Cyril. I'll do, lass. Cyril. There we go. Alright, let's start from the top again. What are you up to, Cyril? Keeping an eye on that bleeding railway station. That's what. Thankfully, no one got off the last train. Really hate that station, don't you? Oh, I curse Midland Railway for bringing their damn line through Bewley. This is our town, our land. Tis no place for outsiders. So you keep saying. Anyway, no more trains today. Almost time to celebrate with an ale, I think. I could do with one myself. You pay in? Uh, no. I found Mr. Shoulder's house today, but he wasn't home. Why the bleeding hell should I care, lass? I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Do you know where it is? Mind your own business, lass. You really are quite helpful, aren't you? Ah. Goodbye. Ta-ra, lass. Alright, let's go to the town. Uh, I guess we'll talk to the blacksmith quickly. The blacksmith is toiling away. Good day. Yes. What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? Oh. His lordship commands much respect around here, lass. Keeps me busy with work. Why do you ask? Just curious. Are you sure you don't know where Hobbs Barrow is? Sorry, lass. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. There's nothing else I wish to dis- Okay, so... Let's head to the church. Sorry, I had to go do a potato check. Um, yeah, let's talk to the priest. And maybe see if we can get a cake. Let's Hello. Good day. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh, oh, right. Right. Um, do I want to spill the beans? I kind of feel like I should spill the beans. He said she would worry about him, but I mean... He wasn't in the greatest health. Well, he got better in a very, you know, bleedy way. Uh, yeah, let's spill the beans. Let's do it. Spill the beans. Hmm. Father Roach asked me not to discuss that with Mrs. DePlancy. Ask about Father Roach's health. What exactly is wrong with him? Don't ask. I don't wish the betray. Ooh. Oh, but his trust. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Ooh. 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 Ah. No. 
Uh, no, I, I, I trust the man. We're gonna, we're gonna keep that trust strong from the top. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Wretched man. They say he is restoring a chapel near his manor. But for whom and to what god, I ask? Is he a man of faith? <laughs> I've barely seen him set foot in St. Edmund's. It doesn't stop him from acting as our god-given ruler. Stay away from him, pet. Don't get yourself tangled up in local affairs. I certainly don't intend to. Okay, Hobbs Barrow. Are you sure you don't know where Hobbs Barrow is? Hobbs what? Never mind. I get this sinking suspicion that the Barrow is at that church. Just a hunch. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. And I mean, I, I can be wrong. Um, it just seems like we're looking for this Hobbs Barrow and there's another church. Like It, it seems like I, I may be heading over there to find it there. But let's see if I can talk to the father, who is not here. <laughs> okay. That was easy. Uh, let's check this door. It's locked. No. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just talk to the postman. Uh, actually, I could talk to these people. Let's talk to these people, because I, I wouldn't mind... Figuring out what they know, what they think about the Lord. Good day. Hello, miss. Panswick. Panswick, that's his name. Panswick. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Not a lot. I know he's in charge around here. Does he come to the village often? Not really. He has a manor out on the moors. Have you ever been there? Heavens, no. Villages aren't allowed there. Why not? Don't know. It's just the way it is. Hmm. Okay, Hobbs Barrow. Are you sure you know nothing of Hobbs Barrow? I really must find it. I'm sure. Goodbye. Bye, miss. All right, let's talk to the kid. Hello? Y yes? What do you know about Lord Panswick? He gave me some sweets once. Mm. My friend says that Lord Panswick has special trees at his manor that grow sweets on their branches. Do you think that's true, miss? I think that's very unlikely. Me too. All right, Hobbs Barrow. Are you sure you know nothing of Hobbs Barrow? Is that like a wheelbarrow? Never mind. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Okay, let's go to the bar. I could talk to this gentleman, actually. Let's, let's talk to him. Hello. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Now to say, except don't be sniffing around his lordship's manor. You'll end up with a round of shot in you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Just mind your own business around here. I really must find Hobbs Barrow. What did I tell you last time? Not to be found digging around in those things. Goodbye. There are. Okay, uh, I want to go to the bar and ask the bartender. I feel like, oh, well, never mind. He's not there. Not here. Okay. Well, maybe I I don't know where he is, but you know I was gonna bring up Herbert, but yeah. oh maybe he's in the back alley. Let's check the alley. If not, we'll go talk to the postman. Nope. Okay, postman, it is. Let's go. Let's go talk to that postman. Uh, yeah, I think he's here. I don't think anyone is home. Hmm. Oh, was it over here? Did this is a storeroom? Hmm. No one here. Okay, maybe this room. Or room door. Oh my goodness. Words. I don't think anyone is home. Okay. Uh, actually, there was that house. Uh, how, how do I get there? Uh, 
I'm trying to remember. Was it this way? There was a house that was kind of by itself. The moors stretch into. No, not this way. Shoot. Unless it's. I'm trying to remember how to get to that house. I'm having a hard time explaining it, but it was that random house. Um, that was locked and was on that in that angle. Oh, you're by yourself. I don't know where your where your uh, brother is, but let's talk to you. Wally took Myrtle. Pardon? He took her and ran off. I hate him. Is Myrtle one of your dolls? Yes, my favorite. Mommy made her for me. She's so beautiful. Wally is the worst brother in the whole world. All right, I feel like we could help her find Myrtle. Why did your brother take Myrtle away? He's just jealous because Daddy is letting me come with him to the market tomorrow. Wally thinks I'm Daddy's favorite, so he took Myrtle from me. What if he rips her to tatters? What if he feeds her to Mr. Bryden's goat? Don't worry, Jane. I'm sure he wouldn't do such a thing. Where did your brother go? I don't know. Home, maybe. But I have to wait here for Myrtle's friends to dry out. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... I have, yes. You have? We aren't supposed to talk about it. Why not? Would you like to go there? Yes, I would very much like to. I'll tell you where it is if you find Myrtle for me. You will? Yes, but don't tell anyone about it or I'll be told off. I promise. Please find Myrtle first, I miss her. I will. Haha, okay. Uh, well, where does she live? Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick him so hard. Okay. Goodbye. Bye, miss. So we got a bunch of places we need to go. We still need to find where the postman is. I think I... I uh, I'm trying to remember where... I've seen that house. That's what happens when you take a break from playing this game for a while. I don't think anyone is home. To record more Legend of Kirandia. <laughs> you forget what's happening or where to go in this place. Why are you knocking on me bleeding jaw? I'm right here, you tough bugger. Oh, apologies. Shh, zero. Actually, let's try that again. Will you, will you chew us out again? Oh, okay, it's the same dialogue. I was secretly hoping for um, a little more variety. Okay. I have nothing. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to these people. Uh, I feel like. Oh, maybe it's this way. <gasps> ah! That must be the postmaster's storeroom. There we go. Okay, this is where I was talking about. Okay, let's talk to the man. Man. He looks a little chirpier than your average Bewley resident. Hello. Good day. I haven't seen you in Bewley before. I'm just visiting. Lovely. It's nice to see a new face. We don't get many visitors. My name's Henry. Henry Long. Nice to meet you, Henry. Thomasina Bateman. Wonderful. What a treat. Hey, right, from the top. You seem in a good mood, Mr. Long. It's just lovely to see a new face. Where are you from, Miss Bateman? Uh, tell him he seems harmless. Harmless lie. Uh, let's be honest. Originally, a small town on the outskirts of Derby, Mr. Long. Though I currently reside in London. London? I've never met anyone from London. How very exciting. Have you lived there a long time? It's been quite a few years now, yes. I've heard that the air there is so heavy with smoke, it makes it hard to breathe. Is that true? Some days. Oh, you must miss the fresh northern air. Well, you've got that in Bewley. No factories out here. Such things are a blight on his creation. I were born in this very home I stand in front of. Bewley is in my blood. Why would I ever want to leave? Especially now I can meet new folk thanks to the railway line. Uh, yes, we're looking for Mr. P 
Price. I'm looking for Mr. Price, the postmaster. Oh, Mr. Price, my lovely neighbor. I'm afraid you've just missed him. Curses. I saw him wheeling a large crate into his storeroom just there. It must be mine. I really need it. Have a look through the window to see if it's yours. Where did Mr. Price go? I don't know. The man were in a hurry. I know he has family in Bakewell. That's miles away. Did he leave by foot? No, by horse. He must be a few miles down the road by now. Curses. When will Mr. Price be back? He didn't say. Could be tonight. Could be a few days. How infuriating. I told him I'd keep watch of his storeroom. And I'm a man of my word, Miss Bateman. I shall not budge from this spot. Okay, uh, let's talk to him about the other points here. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye, funny old fellow. I hear he lives way out on the moors somewhere. Have you seen him recently? No, not for a long while now that you mention it. Why do you ask? It's a long story, but I was to meet him in Bewley. He invited me here. Well, I must thank him when I see him for inviting such an enchanting young woman. You flatter me, Mr. Long. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. One of those old burial hills? Yes. Do you know where it is? Believe it or not, I haven't set foot on the moor since I were a child. Why is that? I've got all I need right here in Bewley. And we're all truly blessed with the railway station, which brings us lovely new faces. Your opinion of the railway station differs widely from your fellow townsfolk, Mr. Long. I've not met anyone particularly keen on it. That railway line is the start of a new era for Bewley. Mark my words, there's much to protect here, but we need new blood. I hope that some of you visitors will actually stay here permanently. Why is that? So I have new friends to talk to. <laughs> some people here don't want any new friends. Cyril Farnaby, the miserable old sod, is the worst offender. I've had the pleasure of meeting Cyril. He really dislikes the railway station. Absolutely miserable he is. I've tried to convince him many times that the station will help Bewley. He just doesn't understand. I met him last night in the plough and furrow. Aye, the scene of our many debates. Blimey. I could go for an ale right now, actually. Can I buy you a drink? Really? No. Wait. Do you think Mr. Kemp will let me open a tab? Perhaps. You could always ask him. Hmm. I shouldn't leave anyway. Mr. Price is relying on me to keep watch of his storeroom. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Okay. So he's kind of eager for new people. And I mean, my brain keeps going to the whole like, all the townsfolks are evil. They're, they're secretly an evil cult kind of thing and the fact he's excited to meet new people it kind of makes me wonder if they kidnap new people to sacrifice them or whatever I, I heard a cat meow in the background I'm assuming that's Stella maybe Stella agrees with me but yeah I'm kind of thinking it's you know maybe they're kidnapping people to sacrifice them maybe Danny who uh well, I guess we'll look at the door or more so the window now There's my crate. Kenneth always ties a red ribbon to it. I can see an envelope tucked behind the ribbon. Perhaps it can help explain Kenneth's absence. I'm going to have to get in there. Okay, uh, I think the door's locked and I mean he's been keeping an eye on it. I can try. A warehouse. The postmaster isn't home. But my crate is in there. You'll have to wait for Mr. Price to get back. Okay, so clearly the goal is to get him to leave so I can do a little bit of a break and entering. I'm going to talk to him again, though. Like, clearly he wants to go get a drink. We need to open a tab of some sort, and then we need to coax him into um, going to the bar. But I am going to talk to him again to be like, hey, we found the crate, or if there's any more options. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Or not. Okay, that's everything. Fine. He looks a little chirpier than your average Bewley resident. Welp, then. 
Um, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. It feels like right now is the perfect place to end the episode. Um, I haven't done the shameless plug today. Or by today, I mean in this episode. Uh, so shameless plug. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch channel for my streams. I currently am going through the 13th doll, a fan game to the 7th guest. Uh, we did Tad's storyline. It was interesting. I'm currently going through Dr. Richmond's side. So definitely check out my Twitch channel. Also, I have a Twitter and all that jazz. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other stuff. And yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you have a good morning, a good evening, a good night, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!